Mm. I don't know. If you tell him that you don't understand, maybe he'll tell you more. Yeah. To be honest, I'm completely lost. I got some holes in it. I made thought I made the message very clear. Well, it doesn't matter. Let me give you a piece of advice, Monsieur Felgen. Sometimes the problem doesn't lie with the one on trial. Perhaps the problem lies within the justice system itself. I'm still lost. <laughs> me too. Mon Dieu, this is hopeless. Why don't we talk about something else? <clears throat> don't have any more questions okay. for you, Juan. I think we've learned all we can for now. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about, like, what the hell? So... What the hell is going on here? So, she was in debt to somebody, and she had to make, murder somebody to get out of the debt. And she didn't want to take the... She, she... He's guarding her from taking the fall. But why... Why go and get... Why not just, like, admit to everything and just go straight to forever jail? If, you, if that was your... Well. Uh, really, I don't... I don't feel that we've learned very much. Sorry. Uh... Oh, Monsieur Falcon, before I forget, did you find Melcy and ask him whether the birds have successfully flown south for the winter? Uh... Whether the, whether the birds have flown south? What is that, some sort of code? S something like that. But where is your Monsieur? That this does directly pertain to the case. Well, if we have time, I'll sure to let Mousy know. So make a move. Trial day is approaching. I feel like they're all setting you up. Yeah. Like, the reason we're getting involved... Oh shit, we have to get... Wait. Yeah. We'll drop by, let him know. Unless that's just gonna fuck us. Uh, let's try No day. time. We have so shit. It's okay. Well, <laughs> it's the chocolate and pour. Uh, <laughs> I, well, oh, I, wanted, I wanted to bring treats for the jury. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. All right. I hope I gathered the right evidence here. I'm still not so sure exactly so, what's happened. Yeah, I'm I'm a little confused as to what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm not sure if we did if we did a good job on this one. I don't. I don't think we collected very much usable evidence, but yeah, we've got a vague idea of what's going on, and hopefully shit that comes out during the trial will help us yeah. piece the rest of it together on the fly. Shall come in first, and we'll find themselves waiting outside of the doors. Are you feeling nervous, Falcon? Sorry, I was like looking at my hands. Nope. <laughs> Actually, I think we might have a handle on this case. All the pieces are coming together nicely. Awesome! Let's demolish that pompous prosecutor, prosecutor with walls of evidence. Except for we don't have walls. Senor Falcon, I trust everything is in order. Absolutely. I have every intention of bringing the truth to light in this trial. Ah, such confidence. That's magnificent to see. And bringing the truth to light, you say. An admirable, admirable goal. No one jousting at imaginary giants. Of you cease your yammering. The oh. door's opening. What? Can you can you look more closely at the uh, the the page forty four? Okay. Nope. Maybe I just have. To what about the book the... in general? Is there? That would be ridiculous. If they're just like, yeah, just go get a copy of Don Quixote. Yeah. Uh, or a Quixote. Yeah, <laughs> quick zoddy. There we go. Burn your swell. So we will. We will. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's Shit, that's, that's, I keep doing it. it. Are we ready? <clears throat> We're ready. We're not ready. We are gonna get screwed. Oh, yeah. We are not. I don't not feel as confident with this one as the other one. Yeah. Jai Jai. Seven. Nervous. Why would I be nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm as calm as a cuckoo. You're the nervous one. This whole courtroom is nervous! <laughs> Whoa! Cool your feathers, Falcon! Hmm. Terrible. You can't even maintain a stoic facade. I thought this trial would be perf the perfect opportunity for you to redeem your previous embarrassments. <laughs> but if this is how you act before the trial is even started... Why, you pompous-tailed posture-perfect! 
Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. This is all a big... Oh, shit. You just okay. got into some crazy shit. Okay, this is like... This is bad. So... Okay, alright. So the cutscene we saw before... With that guy... And his other guy... They're trying to kick off a revolution. Yes. Whoever the, the swan was indebted to... Is like, aha! I have an evil plan to kill all the noblemen in France. Go kill the Prince of Spain for me. Or no, no. Okay. Kill the king. Or, or the guard. I'm not sure. Well, who it was the the, I think was. it was the king, but they wanted, but they got the, the guard. guard, yeah. Out front. I think so. Like, he yeah. just kind of was. Yeah, just knocked the guard off. Falcon, what is it? Is it me or does the preliminary judge look hairier today? That's a different judge to the one who resided over Dame Catiline's efforts, you doofus. Still, it's a little strange, isn't it? It is a little, I suppose. Excuse me. Uh, I, I don't know. care. Excuse uh, me. Yeah, I don't care anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was under the impression that Judge Max May would be residing over this case. Where is he? Judge Maxime has gone on temporary sick leave due to a terrible accident with a flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but rest assured, <laughs> assessors, prosecutor, defense, and members of the jury, that I am more than qualified to fill his shoes. I don't have any problems with this. <laughs> no, that's a, okay, that's cool. That's Without fine. further ado, let's get the show underway. This is the trial of Prince... I can't do it. Prince John Curry, who stands accused of murdering Major Howell and of conspiring to murder the king himself. You, yeah, my throat's gonna be gone in you, like seconds. Do you think that this, that like this trial, is gonna lead to another trial that's the real one? Because like it maybe it was set up that we would never get enough evidence. Maybe could be because it never felt like there was like enough places. Yeah, but we went everywhere. Roll call. The defense, defense is pre present and ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Good. Very, very good. I expect this to be a nice, speedy trial. I don't want to see this tracked out by technicalities and bureaucracy. Well, uh, I got some news for you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a few technicalities here. Well said, Your Honor. I expect that once the court sees the overwhelming evidence, this trial will be over in five clacks! <laughs> but five minutes? He's just messing with your head, Falcon. Keep it together. See, that's why like, he's all flustered. It's gotta be like a fake trial. And there's gonna be another one that's like a real one. Yeah. So we're all on the same page. Excellent, Prosecutor. Please call your first witness to the stand. Very well. I call the police officer who investigated the crime scene. I call upon Inspector Justine Volteri. 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 Step up to the stand, Inspector, and recite the oath. I swear, hatred and without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Ah! Please recite your name and <laughs> occupation for the court record. My name is Inspector Justine Volteri. Volteri. I am a servant to the law, a scourge of the gutter rats. That will do, Inspector. <laughs> what we've all heard your monologue before. God! Whoa. Cocorico <laughs> uh, really is going for a speed record, isn't he? Now, can you tell us what you witnessed on the morning of the 7th of January? <laughs> of course. <laughs> At 10 o'clock in the morning, I was called to... <laughs> 10 o'clock, oh sorry. At 10 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, I was called to the Lures Grand Gallery by one of the King's Royal Guards. Did you just say, oh cluck? There, I saw Prince Juan and King Louis Philippe 
the corpse of Mayor Hal with a sorry Major Hal with a rose in it in hand and around two dozen citizens. Alright. Okay, okay. The citizens and the king himself all attest to seeing Major Hal taking the rose from Prince Swan's hand and then promptly drop it dead. Crap! And what did the morgue uncover upon examination of the corpse? Crap! The coroner determined with absolute certainty that Major Hal died of poisoning. Aside from a prick, a prick upon the finger, there was no sign of external harm in Major Hal's body. Therefore, the poison rose must have been the cause of death. Put the pieces together. That does seem very implicative of the prince. I have no further questions. Damn, I was hoping that the coroner's report would determine that the guy died of a freak heart attack or something. <laughs> that would make for a particularly speedy trial, wouldn't it? But no, we're, we aren't so lucky. Something else must, must be amiss in the old bird's testimony. Right, I'll tear it apart. Your Honor, I wish to cross-examine the witness. Falcon, wasn't it? Don't waste the course time. A high-ranking police officer would never lie on the witness stand. They did last time. Oh, no, they didn't. I wouldn't accuse the inspector of lying. I just want to make sure that every base is properly covered. <sighs> this sounds like pointless nitpicking to me, but I'll allow it for now. Yeah, this is all stacked. Like, I, cause yeah. like, we went to all these locations and none of those things, we couldn't talk to anybody at the, at the location of the murder. There's too many people around or something. Yeah. Like, I feel like this is all set up to not give us enough. Yeah. Like, the judge is against us. We got the best, like, lawyer who's, and both, like, beat yeah. us every time. We got, like, all these people not telling us what's going on. Uh, the, the cop and, the cop and the lawyer have the same voice. It's all, it's all fucked so, up. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that, purpose. like, the, the mouse and, like, <clears throat> the other and the fox are, like, working together to uncover the mass conspiracy that's overarching yeah. against this, but they can't have us know because we're going to fuck it up because we're stupid. Yeah, we'll all spare us and we'll fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think our goal here is just to depaint the entire court system, or at least this trial. Like, Yeah, yeah that's, something's fucked up. At 10 o'clock! In the morning, I was called to the little yeah. grand jury. Okay, so when did we hear the murder happen? I don't remember. I didn't like commit that. I don't know. Do we poisoning? Poisoning is something. Yeah. So that would be uh, my best guess. Yeah. Two dozen citizens. Um, did we ever have anywhere we could go to get the rose tested, or no? No, we didn't have anywhere we could have gone. Um, I don't know what's really? presented here. I mean... Alright, we're gonna say that. Uh, yeah. Spectre, you say that the coroner determined that with certainty that Major Howell was killed by poison. Correct. He stated that signs of symptoms were textbook. There's no possibility that his death was natural. There's a Sunday morning omelet, baby. Did the coroner mention specifically what kind of poison it was? He was not certain. At first, the coroner po posted. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 positive. Uh, a positive. Okay, I sorry. was like, I wasn't sure like what yeah, I was yeah. like was that that it, that it was that it was a, a plant born poison like that of a, of the acatine flower, acatine flower, whatever. <laughs> But when he learned how fast the poison had taken effect, he noted that uh, that this was atypical of aconite. Consequently, he suggested that it may have been some newly engineered concoction. A newly engineered <laughs> poison, you say? Well, that only reaffirms this was a very deliberate assassination attempt, Uncle Chicken Man. Indeed. Yes. I suppose so. How was he poisoned? How exactly was Major Howell poisoned? What was the delivery mechanism? 
His finger was pricked by the poison rose. He even commit, commented out loud about it seconds before dying. That's okay, it. the guy killed is in on it too. Yeah. Yeah. All 22... Maybe he faked his death. 22 so he, citizens. He said fucking... He did not... It's like two dozen? He said two dozen. Yeah. That would... That would be not that. 27 witness the uh, murder arrested attested to seeing and hearing this is there any possibility that he was poisoned by something else what an absurd thing to ask JJ you just heard that 22 people saw the victim prick his finger and die what are you suggesting that the pricked finger had no relation to the poisoning yes yeah, bring up the chat yes yeah. he ingested his poison yeah it was why would he say out loud? Like That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. I don't doubt that Major Howell was poisoned, but I do doubt that the rose was the cause. Unbelievable! <laughs> Only a total buffoon would fail to draw the blight and link here. <laughs> JJ, as tempting as it is to sit here and lecture you on the basics of cause and effect, I'll end this discussion painlessly. By laying a big fat egg. <laughs> Inspector, please tell the defense that you found traces of poison on the thorns of the rose itself. <laughs> that should alleviate all doubt that the rose was, in fact, the poison delivery mechanism. Actually, <laughs> I can't tell him that. I dread to ask. But why not? We didn't check the rose for traces of poison. It just seemed obvious that the bros caused the poisoning given the timing of the incident. Well then, now would be a good time to make a test. Here's a marvelous thought. We pricked the finger of the defendant with the rose. What? Um, wow. If there, he's trying to kill... Uh, yeah, this is if there's like, no yeah. poison on the rose, the Prince Swan lives, and he is free to go. That's fucked up. If the rose is poison, then the prince dies. And that's okay, because the punishment would just be the fitting of the crime. <laughs> a marvelous suggestion. That's what is this, a witch trial? This isn't America, <laughs> Sutherland. That's not how we do things here. Burn! Calm your feathers, JJ. I was it was clearly a joke. If there was far more humane ways <laughs> of testing for poison, I'm sure the inspector will perform his duty with due diligence. Actually, we won't be able to test the rose for poison at all. Why is that? Given the dangerous nature of the flower, it was destroyed by the police force. We burned it to ashes, because we're fucked up. We fuck up. We fuck up a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all we do. <laughs> all I do is fuck up. <laughs> Tis such unprofessionalism. I'm gonna stroke my babies now. If we have no way to, to know whether the rose was poison, then this whole trial ought to be called into question. Nice try, JJ, but though the process of reasoning by elimination... We can still deduce with absolute certainty that the rose was poisoned. In other words, not really. <laughs> there was nothing else at the crime scene that would have caused the poisoning. Wrong! There was something else at the crime scene that could be have contained the poison. Something the investigative police blindly overlooked. <laughs> Fuck. Chocolate. 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 Look at this. What am I supposed to be looking at? Actually, we we have no idea if that was actually thrown away on that day. <laughs> Spurson <laughs> said we're, that. We're, we're yeah. going off of whatever. Just, just try it. It is a paper wrap wrapper to a piece of chocolate. It was found in the Louvre de Salutive, to be precise. And we can date its consumption by the day of the incident. You're not suggesting... That Major Howell ate a piece of poisoned chocolate moments before he died? I most certainly am. Oh, uh, did you get that thing I sent you? <laughs> <laughs> did you see those, this rapper? Did you, I mean, did you, did you see this rapper at the crime scene for yourself, Inspector? The police force does not have the time nor resources to trawl every piece of trash every crime scene, I'm afraid. 
In other words, you overlooked it. Tisk, astounding unprofessionalism. The prosecution is right to be disgusted. What a disgraceful display, Inspector. I offer my apologies, Your Honor. I don't want your apologies. I want you to do your damned job properly. Get off this witness podium before I kick you off myself. Jeez. As like it's kicking him off. I'll so. take yep. my leave. Until next time, monsters, I gotta go sit on my kids. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get this straight. This chocolate wrapper was found at, scene, at the crime scene. Correct. And you have reason to believe that it was consumed on the day of the incident. I do. I have an expert food tasting witness who is willing to testify if need be. You have a foodie witness? <laughs> I don't recall anyone like that. Who on earth are you talking about, Falcon? Oh, I see. Hmm, but do you know for certain that Major Hal consumed this chocolate? 